Hey, it's Alex. Welcome back to another Java tutorial. In this video, you're going to learn about the double in Java. But first, if you're new here, my name is Alex. On this channel, I post a Java tutorial just like this one every single week. Also, if you're looking for a job in tech, I have a coding bootcamp that I highly recommend. You can find all that information and a big discount in the link in the description. So let's start off on a clean slate together by just going to File, New, Java Project. We'll call this something like My Project. Hit Finish right click on the source folder and go to new class and we'll call this something like main hit this public static void main checkbox and hit finish a double is a variable type that helps us work with decimal points let's start with an integer so in the main method type int a equals zero this lets us store whole numbers into variables and lets us do math with it or print it out so for example let's print out a save and run and we'll see zero gets printed out because when we click the green run button we run code inside of the main method the first line we see is int a equals zero so now a is zero then we write the code to print out a to the console window and since a is zero it prints zero integers are perfect for whole numbers like one or two or 25 but the second we want to do a decimal point, say you're working with money or currency and you want to do $25.50, we get a red underline because integer variables can't handle that. We have different kinds of types of variables to help with memory. So we'd have to change this to double. A double lets you store up to around 15 decimal points, which makes it very precise and this is going to be the main variable type you use for decimal points in general in Java. So if we save and run this, we see 25.5 printed out. It doesn't print out that extra zero to make things a little simpler. So doubles can do up to around 15 decimal points. And they can also store integers as well, just like an int variable. So if we stored one, save and run, we see 1.0. This 0, .0 lets us know that it's a double rather than an int. Let's do another example like double b equals 1.5 and then we'll print out b, save and run, we get 1.5. Let's do one with 15 decimal points like 1.1234567891012131415 we will make that last one a one so it prints all of them call it C, and then let's do one with 16. And we'll print out C and D, save and run. You'll see that on D, it just rounds down. But if we have several other decimals here, it will round. Now let's practice some more with maybe some different prices. You can also define doubles with this D. Um, at the end. So say we have something that is $23.74. You could put a capital D after it to make sure that it's a double. You could also do a lowercase d, or you could just have nothing there at all. If we save and run this, they all work the same. So that's just something, if you see a d after it, that means it's trying to make it a double. You can also convert doubles into integers or other variable types. So for example, if we have an integer a, we can set that equal to this, but we have to cast that value into an integer. And to do that, you type these parentheses and then put int in here. So this will take this double value and convert it into an integer so that it can store it into an integer value. And if we save and run this, this will give us 23 because it rounds down. Even if this was 23.999, save and run, it would still round down to 23. Same thing if it was like 001, it rounds down. Also, if you do math with doubles, say we have double A, and this is gonna be 4.1, then we can get rid of this D, or we could do a lowercase D, or it could not be there at all. It all does the same thing. And if we have an int b, that's maybe two. If we multiply a times b, save and run, we'll get 8.2. 
because the double takes priority. That's why we get a decimal point in the result. You'll mostly be using doubles for calculations like this, specifically more precise calculations, whereas integers are more useful for things like for loops and other areas of code that don't need decimal points. And also, we kind of went over this before, but if you have no decimal points in your double and you print it out, then it will give you that decimal point as well so that you know you're printing out a double rather than an integer. And if you have like a super big double, kind of like this, save and run, this one in fact will round up because it's past the 15 decimal limit. And since it rounds the second half, it goes up to five. But if this was below the 15 decimal limit, it would just leave it as is. The only time it rounds down is if you're converting it into an integer. So that's basically it. I hope this helps you be able to use doubles in your program a little easier. I know that D kind of throws you for a loop. It's also the same with float values. They'll have a little F after it sometimes. It's kind of weird. But thank you. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video.